a very, very warm welcome back to Lucas Island for episode 7 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's just gone, well, yeah, it's nearly 10 past 3 in the afternoon. I have been clearing the uh, scrub, the brush, the grass away, scraping the surface to try and uncover all of the stumps. As you can see, we've got quite a few. Money's back up again. I've done a little bit more logging here. We we're doing that in preparation for whatever happens next with regard to delivery, stuff that might come. I, we need to be able to pay for it if we're going to. So that's cleared. As long as I can see where the stumps are, that's going to make life a little bit easier. The two fields I was going to put potatoes in have now been done. We've got a little bit of uh, seed slash potatoes left in the silo. Not a huge amount, to be honest with you, but that's not too much of a problem. I have been over to collect the... What's the word? The potato harvester, although potentially that's not going to work without... A, a topper I don't think that's, that will um, harvest on its own which could be a bit of a problem part of the signal we sent out was to also ask for more seeds we've got a little bit of seed but not a huge amount I've got a couple of stumps here as well I might have to do the same thing just use the excavator, the crawler and do a bit of, a bit of scraping away from the surface just so we can uncover all of the um, tree stumps we've got a few over at our main farm area I guess it's a farm area isn't it as we go, I've been to collect the cedar that we found over there, that's now collected. And I've taken that over to the other island where the radio tower is and the chickens are, because that's where the, that bigger field is. I'm going to put wheat in that, or possibly barley. I think I might do barley in that one. Two reasons. One, we can feed the chickens with them and we can feed the pigs with barley. As you can see, our crops have are growing, have grown, which is great. The problem we've got is I haven't got a header to harvest them yet. We knew that was going to be the case. Got my sunflower, got my corn, the soybeans grown as well, and the potatoes. I don't think the potatoes, they might have started growing, but they, they certainly won't be anywhere near. We only did them early on this afternoon. I know this isn't the fastest. <laughs> the fastest vehicle to be doing a tour around and showing what we've got but that's you know it's part of the charm of, of this map is the, the laid back attitude with which you can do things yeah so we've got potatoes in both those i think i've probably done way too many potatoes but again feed for the pigs feeding me and if we end up selling some great now there is the still uh, production facility whatever you want to call it over on the other island to the south that we uncovered a while ago actually a few days ago now i can put barley in there we could do you know and corn mash or we could do you know there's some options there for some fermentation i've been also reliably informed that we can ferment coconut coconut oil palm oil various different things for rudimentary fuels that was the other thing i was going to do i was going to take a vehicle that needs refueling drive around the island because we did find some oil drums didn't we that were just in the water but i don't remember don't know whether they're just empty oil drums or they've got fuel in them so that might actually not be a bad idea i'm not necessarily going to do that now it's finding something that needs a bit more fuel that thing still does need washing, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Oh, I still haven't done this. Mm, why is stuff falling off those pallets? Oh, sorry, I've tied it up. Uh, yeah, so we've got our potato harvesting implement just here. Everything seems to be okay. Fuel-wise, how are we looking on this? No, that looks okay. Oh, yeah, my tractor's over there. I was going to say, where have my tractor? I said I've taken it over to the island. So what I'm going to do, I don't think I'm going to start now. Maybe in the morning we'll start with our planting of barley over there. I was going to do barley and canola as a split, but I think the barley will be more useful for moving forward. We can make money if we need to, depending on who we're going to trade with or how we're going to trade from doing logging with the palm trees. So really the crops is more for me, for feeding the pigs, for the chickens. Yeah, moving forward. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? 
Um, top is that is the one that needs fuel, isn't it? Bear with me a minute. I'll, I'm gonna we'll scoot round. I come across any oil drums. We'll check them. Fuel drums, oil drums. You know what I mean. The other thing as well, well, that was the other thing I was thinking, of setting up a silage clamp. We found a few tyres, didn't we? Did I, where did I leave the other ones? There was one there, there were a couple at the main store, there were a couple here, and we did our first, when I first kind of beached, and uh, yeah, there's a couple just here. I thought if I cut them in half, embed them in the ground, a couple of posts, we can, we can certainly do posts, we'll... Um, now, what were these ones over here? Were they part of this? Were they part of it? Yeah, so I'll go around, I'll gather up the tyres, and we'll, we'll set ourselves up a silage clamp. And then when we get to a point we can do grass... Let's see, I don't know... Yes, fuel went up. Right, so they're... Right, they're fuel drums then. Well, that's good. Hang on, I've just realised. I was looking at the wrong dial for the other one. I was looking at the... I was looking at repair. Well, that's filled up now. Well, there fuel. There were some more. Or were they the other side of the island? I was going to say it seems like such a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Because of the frequency with which we were able to get a signal from the island to uh, upload our videos. <clears throat> yeah, must be over the other side. Right. Oh, I know their fuel, that's good. I will see you in the morning. Let's get some... barley in the ground. 7.47 in the morning. I remembered what other vehicle needed fuel. It's the tractor. I brought it back from the island. And over the other side of the island, it was barrels. Yep, that's fuel. Jolly handy, the sorts of things that wash up on a beach. I haven't topped up completely because I thought there were some more. I thought I must be. I'm trying to remember now whether I'm misremembering or not. Whether they were this side of the island or over the other side of the island further up. But I thought there were another couple in the water. But it doesn't matter. If it, there's a couple here, or one here, a couple over the other side. There is a bit more fuel knocking about. We should be alright for a little while. But we are going to need a fuel source of some description. Oh, I must have dreamt it. Oh no. Yep, that's fuel as well. Oh, that's the result. I was convinced there were a couple that were empty. <laughs> mm, I thought there were. Anyway, right, barley. Let's get some barley in the ground. Five hundred litres isn't going to go very far, so I'm going to go back again. Potatoes, how are we looking? Actually, they're looking pretty good too. From the green yesterday. Now, do I go and get the potato harvester and I've just got a really horrible feeling it's, it's going to require a topper. Should have some more eggs from the chickens. We need to get to a point where we've fattened up those pigs nicely. Want eggs and bacon for breakfast. I know for all, you know, anyone that's out there that's not happy about that kind of thing. It is what it is. Yeah, so I have to go back with some falls a little bit. It's quite a big field, and I don't know how much seed we've got left on the pallet, actually, over at the store. I suppose that would have been the sensible thing to do, wouldn't it? Use the front loader and bring over the seed. But I don't want it all over here, do I? So what I'm thinking, if we do get mowers at any point, I suppose I could always put... I could build my silage clamp here on the beach, couldn't I? Because this is the biggest expanse of grass that we've kind of got available to us. Well, I don't know how big a... We're not going to go massive, but we can do some silage. 
because there is the biogas facility over the other side. We can make ourselves some biogas. Help fuel whatever we're doing. It's just an idea at this point. So I really don't want to go too far over in case this doesn't work. I think what I'm going to be better off doing, you know what? Rather than doing a headland, I don't need to do a headlands round simply because I've got plenty of runoff either side. If I go up and down in strips until I run out, I'll probably go a little bit further than I think it will. We'll get some wheat growing. We have still got a little bit in storage from our first harvest we did, but not very much. Again. It's just me at the moment. I don't have to worry too much. Is that me? Or did, you, did you hear that? I'm losing my mind. Well, I can definitely... Ship over there. Maybe it's that. Could be. Right, I'm going to carry on going up and down, and when I've finished the 500 litres, I think I might just... That'll, that'll be enough, or that'll be enough? Mm -hmm. Might just... Oh, no, no, what are we doing? Down, there we go. No workers. We don't have anyone. There's no one on the island. Oh, you buffoon. <sighs> Turn it on. There we go. Eight forty four. My five hundred litres of barley has run out. I haven't quite finished the field. We could go and get some more, I suppose, but in all honesty that's probably gonna be enough barley. We shouldn't have to worry. I might try the potato uh, harvester. Hang on, I definitely heard that that time. What is occurring? Intriguing. Oh, maybe. Have we had a response? It looks like we have. Look out on the dock. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, have I got the stuff I wanted? That's the thing. Is it a little bit like the genie wishes, you know? Be careful what you wish for. You could ask for one thing and get something completely different, but technically it's still what you asked for. There is a load of stuff on the dock. And I'll be honest, it looks pretty much pretty much everything I wanted. Mulcher, stump grinder for the 622. A larger a larger bucket that might be a bit too big. Larger bucket. Log fork. Fertiliser spreader. Okay, we've got a muck spreader. It's not huge, but we have got muck. So that, fantastic. Corn header. We wanted a corn header. We've got a corn header. 
water bowels uh, water container that's bigger than the what we got 1000 liters we got at the moment and mowers now these are like the mowers i've got on rasvet although this one is for the gt in that it goes underneath i think rather than the one that goes on a front three point link and then seed wanted extra seed we've got extra seed looks like is there a note on there there is it reads Mr. Silly P, Lucas Island. I'm on Lucas Island. I know that now. That's fantastic. Mr. Silly P, I am the captain of the bulk carrier Chin Shan. We are en route to Gladstone, Australia. Are you? Yeah. Out of Panama. We received your unusual signal and made a slight course correction to assist. As luck would have it. What are the odds? We had most of what you requested on board and are happy to help. We have notified the relevant authorities of your situation. Our routes take us this way about once a week, but our company has many ships passing roughly every two to three days. If you are in need of further assistance, please use the call sign listed and we can pass on any requirements. Abelardo Espinosa, Captain, Pan Canal Ships. We have opened a trade route. We have now got a way of trading and movement of equipment and... I suppose potentially. I wonder if we could. Could we trade stuff to the dock? Maybe. Oh man, right, okay, so this is it. This is the point I've been waiting to get to where we can now legitimately start to expand further. Not just surviving, thriving. What do I do first though? I've got loads of crops that need harvesting. Potatoes went in last. I'll try those last. I think we should get the harvester. Come and grab the header. I want to use the stump grinder at some point fairly soon. I know I've done some of that on Rasvet recently because I need to clear those stumps. Because doing more forestry is proving very, very difficult. But it does now mean forestry I do that goes through the lumber mill. The money I use, as you can see, the money has gone down. Nothing nefarious. I can use that for purchasing the equipment, but it does make me wonder now, how much can I chance my arm in that, if I just, like I said an episode or so ago, if I see if I can get a larger tractor, I wonder if they would ship a larger tractor. I don't know if I could specify a particular one, actually I've got to really hitch myself, take something with me while I go, what shall I take, water or, I'll take the muck spreader while I'm going. excellent stuff it's not a huge amount of gear and it's not particularly expensive i think all in it came to about sixty-eight thousand, something like sixty-five thousand. not a huge um, outlay but it's all the stuff i need like i say this isn't i mean i think i made a bit of a i might have made a small mistake with that one but um i think it's only about three and a half thousand liter but Three and a half thousand litres is three and a half thousand litres. We'll run the harvester out, that's going to take a little while. I'll do the corn first, maybe the corn first. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Like I say, this is what we're aiming for. We've got the mowers, that's good. So we can get some harvesting done. We can plant again, we've got seed. We can fertilise, we've got this muck spreader. I can get rid of the stumps, which means we can continue logging a bit easier. We have got log fork, we've got a larger bucket, so for scooping things up, we've got an 8,000 litre back on our pickup homemade vehicle. But for scooping stuff up off the, off the floor, I don't have a loading wagon or anything like that, so grass, for the time being, we'll, we'll do it like that, but then moving forward, we could get a loading wagon. It's going to mean doing a bit of logging off screen. I could do some on screen, but I people won't. You know, people will get a little bit bored of that. And we can, um, yeah, we can start making real strides forward. You know, I suppose the question is, do I stick with fence and just get a newer fence, or hmm, do I go for something completely different? Potentially, right, my planters, cedars, that's all going to be in a very weird position. I think I'm, I'm just 
dumping things and need a shelter, I guess. Or, as I mentioned before, we could move and store equipment maybe somewhere else. Let's disconnect that. Because I can take this back to pick up the mowers. Even if this ends up just being our machine we use for mowing. We get a larger tractor. Tractor. I always say tractor. 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 God, this... Um, we can uh, use this for mowing. Yeah. Right, bear with me. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go and grab the harvester. Let's go and grab the header. Let's get some stuff done. Then I'll need to start bringing stuff back over. I'll do that a little bit at a time, I think. I don't need it all at the moment. I'll start off with the bits I do need. Anything we harvest to start off with, I'll stick into the silo. And then we can take um, our corn first. Oh, so I suppose soybean I could have done anyway, because I've got a regular head, haven't I? I could have been getting on with that. See, the possibilities moving forward now open up. I wonder if we can get livestock delivered. We've got pigs, we've got chickens, I suppose. Well, let's work on those first. I am mildly concerned. It just dawned on me that there was that part in that letter it said, we have notified the relevant authorities of your situation. Hmm. Who? What relevant authorities? Do they mean just their shipping line? Do they mean... I don't know. The fact it said Mississippi Bean, Lucas Island... They obviously, they know where I am. I didn't know where I was, but I do now. So that is a little bit worrying. But, for now, let's just carry on. Once these are harvested, I'm going to need to, I'm going to need to plant this one again. But we can fertilise, we can, all the stuff this means we can do now. Let's start that up. Drop the header down. And let's go. As I said before, the yield's not going to be great because I, I couldn't put any fertiliser down. But compared to what, I suppose, is the thing to say, isn't it? The yield's not going to be great, but I don't know what the yield would be anyway. Yes, it would be better if I had fertilised and if I'd fertilised twice. But as far as I know, whatever I get off this is going to be a good yield. It's going to go to the pigs this time round. I might pick a smaller field to do corn next time if we're going to do some corn mash or something. Maybe. Luca's liquor. We have our own line of cocktails. <laughs> Mild coughing fit there. <laughs> to apologise. Yeah, I mean we've got coconuts, so we could do pina coladas. We'll we'll see what happens moving forward. So we've got a call sign according to that letter. So the MMSI Maritime something shipping index. Oh, what does that stand for? Mine's gone blank. Call sign Hotel Oscar Bravo India. Out of Panama. That's why you wonder where I am. If they're out of Panama, mind you, a lot of these tankers, the bulk carriers, will go weeks, won't they, between destinations. Out of Panama, going to Gladstone. AU, that is Australia, isn't it? I think it is. First contact. Brilliant. I have to say, the steering wheel on this is looking a little bit chipped. A little bit chipped and damaged, to say the least. I feel a spring in my step now. So my initial list sorted. Now to start compiling the next list of things I want. I don't think I'm necessarily going to go for a bigger harvester. The fields aren't that big. Potentially, if we do expand, if if we do expand and we decide to buy, again, buy bits of the island, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> bits we don't have access to, then I suppose we could 
blend fields together and if we do make some large ones we might need something bigger. I think what I will do is unload this into our homemade vehicle. Don't think I've missed any as I'm going along. I don't there's nothing off to my left from my first pass. That's not to say that I'm as accurate as I could be from out 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 of cab. I always struggle a bit more first person. That's just me. Happy days. Even happier days with things being lifted a little bit here in the UK. As of the 17th of May, I believe restaurants and things like that can open again with people inside. I was had a conversation or messaged with my brother, who I haven't seen properly in ages. Was the last time I saw him? Quite a while ago. Uh, we're going to go and see my brother in Colchester towards the end of May and probably go out for dinner and a few beers. Can't wait, looking forward to it. It's things like that. I know it sounds corny and cheesy, but I, I miss my brother, I miss him. And my sister-in-law and his kids, and we all, whenever we're together, we have an absolute blast. And it's, I'm just really looking forward to that again. Although, that being said, Silly EG, the weekend that we're intending to go away, she won't be coming because on the Monday after that is her final A-level. She's in the middle of doing her A-levels at the moment, her exams in whatever form they're taking at the moment, because obviously with all the lockdown stuff, it's all been a little bit up in the air here and there. 99, 99. We are there. Pipe out. I see it. We go. Turn off. Hop out. Yeah, so she's got her final exam, which is her one of her computing exams on the Monday. So she won't be coming with us. Um, obviously, my eldest has moved out now. My son's moved out now. One of my twins will be working. She works in a pub that weekend, so it's not going to be all of us. But not that, not that you need to know any of this. I just while I was working away, I thought, do what I usually do. I'll have a bit of a chat. Ah, oh, now it does mean I can get rid of the water tank, tanker, tank, and the bucket as well for the, uh, the crawler. Won't need those now. I'm very curious about the potato situation, but I will save that for another time. Once I've got a full load here of 8,000, I'll take this to the pigs. And then we'll do sunflower, then the soybean. And then we'll go from there. Excellent stuff. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm a happy camper. I should be going up and down because I've done my headlands now. Where's that? Pipe in. Am I up to spin around? Maybe not. Actually, what I will do, I think. We'll just do it on the turning radius of the harvester. So for anyone that's not been enjoying the island life or the storyline stuff and that kind of thing, we're farming. We had to wait. I need my crops to grow. I needed the header. So now we've got the header. We can. And the more farming side of things can continue now. I 
thing is as well as you can imagine it's like anything when you make I don't know if you're like me I don't, I don't know if it's just a me thing but when you've got in your head a list of things you need to get done it always seems far worse when it's in your head and even if you make the list you kind of write everything down and think oh, I've got so much to do you know on any given day you know whatever I'm going to be doing whether it's a video whether it's a let's play whether it's a map tour whether it's mod reviews whether it's all three um, going through all of my correspondence going through any admin related stuff I need to do then there's all the, the various just household stuff household chores and all the household bills and paperwork and admin and then you know all the things like DIY and shopping and you, you start making these lists and you think I need to get this done I need to get that done would you believe it? I mean, just... <laughs> how was it? Yeah, this is just... Saying. The other day, Sunday. Sunday night. Start sorting out cooking dinner. And, um... Silly G comes in and says... My, my dinner is just not cooking in the oven. What do you mean it's not cooking? So the, the oven is on, isn't it? Yeah. You've turned up. Yeah. So went out there, checked it. Just, it just wasn't cooking. So when I checked it, the gas... Because we, we've got a gas oven at the moment... Um, gas oven comes on, but the flame at the back normally it starts at a low flame, it ignites, then it gets a bit of a kind of a raw sound to it as it heats up. Nothing, something's gone wrong. The oven has packed up, so we had to go online, buy a new oven, which is being delivered Friday. So between now and Friday, it will be tricky <laughs> with regard to cooking, and it's all things like that, you know. When the, the company, the couple of companies we looked at said, first of all, um, you need to disconnect the oven, remove it out of the way, then they'll come and they'll um, install the new one and recycle the old one. But you've got to, and I said to my wife, if it comes to things like gas and gas fittings, I'm not, I wouldn't have a clue what to do. And then that gets added onto my list of things I need to do. And I think, well, not only do I need to do it, I need to go online, I need to look up how to do it you know, <laughs> ring my brother and say, gee, how do I do this? Because he's a bit of a whiz at that kind of thing. Um, but the weird thing about it is, when you then actually come to do your list of jobs, it's never as bad when you actually come to doing them as it is when it's on a list. When it's in your head, it always seems far worse, doesn't it? I think that's probably the thing, isn't it? So, anyway, in the convoluted way, I've come around about saying, the thing with this has been that the kind of the build-up and leading up to this point all the sort of narrative based storyline stuff all the things I needed to do to lead up to this particular point where my stuff got delivered and put on the dock has taken ages in the prep work and getting everything ready and and the problem is when you're in your head thinking oh, I need to do this I need to do that I need to add this in and mustn't forget to do that the list becomes quite long and then it almost becomes a thing of I'll do that one tomorrow. What I'll do today is I'll do something a bit easier that I know I can get done fairly quickly, fairly easily. I'll do that and then I'll get onto this tomorrow. And then it's another day and then it's another day. Now I've reached this point. Brilliant. If you don't make videos, it probably won't have any bearing or relevance to you whatsoever. But it's, it's funny how these sorts of things you just don't really think about it until you actually come to do it and you think wow actually there's a lot more to this I need to do than I actually thought in my head it's all when good when you have an idea that idea of I know what I'll do let's be on an island and then you start to think of all the the, the possibilities moving forward are fantastic but then you think of okay well how do I make this work within the realms of what we have available to us and then it becomes a little bit trickier. Anyway, I don't, I'm just, again, not complaining, just explaining. I think what I'll do, I'll clear this field of corn, and that'll be it for today. I'll get a full load into the uh, homemade vehicle. We'll get that down to the pigs, and then... I don't know whether I might do the soybean off camera, then do, we'll start with the, I want to do the potatoes, that's going to be one coming up, 
wheat's in the ground, although actually we can get some fertiliser on that, can't we? Oh, was I put the fertiliser over the top? I've already seeded. I've well, got a lot of choice, I suppose. I could do, couldn't I? No, not enough turning them. Right, Thank you, oh yeah, just remind me. Thank you to, um, uh, back up, back up, back up. I want to thank Tyler for sending me the videos. Loads of people send me messages and videos and clips and various different things. Tyler out in Australia sent me um, some clips. He's a farm worker, lovely guy, always sends me pictures and messages and video clips of whatever he's doing. And he was out, never heard of it before, Bathurst, Bathurst, Burr. Bathurst, I know I said, he did not make fun of it, but he said however you want to say it. Um, this thing is a plant unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's the most vicious, evil looking thing. It's like a thorny, violent plant. I suppose kind of like a weed. Um, and he had to clear a load of them. Blimey. It's like razor wire that grows naturally. But thank you for sending me that for that, that Tyler. I do appreciate it. And to my regular contributors to the channel, as I often say, when I thank people uh, one at a time, person by person, um, I, I can't I can't thank you enough for your generous generosity. If you are a, a regular contributor, not only do you contribute to the channel. You're contributing to me, which helps me, and by dint of that, you're helping my family. The extension on from that is, you know, so if you are one of those regular contributors, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to see you in a little while. When either we've got 8,000 litres in the homemade vehicle, or we're done. And let's go and feed these pigs, get them some corn. Get down that road. Is that still harvesting with it? Yeah, it was up high, wasn't it? And so we didn't quite finish the fields. The harvester is full again, and this has got 7,120 litres in it, so. By the time we've put the last little bit in, we'll have 8,000 in here. We'll get this off to the pigs, and then I'll finish off harvesting on here. Now, I was just thinking about it while I was doing the harvest on here. Sorry about my rambling earlier. I was just a little while, earlier, a little while ago. There's things, things that you think about. Um, I'm going to need, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to look at getting a larger tractor. So I want to get a bigger plough. Because the situation we've got at the moment is that this field now because i've done corn in it it's going to need plowing and i said oh, i don't mind i've got the plow there if it takes me however long it takes me that's not it takes me but if i can double the size of my plow i don't know second half the amount of time it takes me to do it so it kind of makes sense if i can get a slightly larger plow but if i can't i'll just stick with the one i've got for the gt which way should i go, I'll go around this way i can't remember where i've got some tip side back left or right I suppose when we pull up alongside the trough, it will tell me, hopefully. This is still a very weird view. But pretty cool. Ah, good, all good, all good. Um, no, nope, gone the wrong way, haven't I? It's like a spider web of... Uh, tracks leading around the island. Oh dear. Mrs. Silly P just crashed around to the kitchen. <laughs> the look of panic on her face. <laughs> oh dear. Never mind.
Yeah, you know, I should have just gone around along, along the coast. I always do this. I go inland. Now, is the is this coastline being eroded? Are we losing coastline? Oh, has it always been like that? I'm starting to panic a little bit because I don't remember. I don't. I don't know, maybe it was. I'm thinking of the trees and grass and stuff in the water here. Hmm. I'm sure it was always like that. Is it climate change? If I stay on the island much longer, will it erode to nothing? Well, like I said, it's very low lying, even in the middle where it goes up a bit. It wouldn't take a huge increase in sea level. A metre, maybe a little bit more. And you would lose you know, quite a lot. Of, like, I'm not, I'm not going to get into that, Tori. Yeah, Yes. Oh, it is back. No, it doesn't matter. Let's check. Let's see how they're looking. Yeah, they've got next to nothing. Soybean, canola, sunflower, potatoes, sugar beet. Tiny little bits of each. I think, have I used all my wheat and barley? Let's have a look. Did I use all of it? No, I've still got some wheat left. I can go and get a load of wheat and bring them some wheat over. And then we've got potatoes that we can harvest and I've also got a field of soybean and a field of sunflower so we should be good with every, the pigs have everything I'll top up their water chickens are producing as well we get a new pig every 29 hours oh we're going to get a new one in 15 no hang on in 15 minutes that's pretty cool and with that I'm glad this this has made such a big difference because that does mean now we can get all those things harvested and what I was aiming to do was feed the pigs and we'll be able to do that with what we got. Notice as well. We have got some manure. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. They don't actually produce any but there is some here we could come and collect for potential um, spreading of on fields and that kind of thing. So... Yes. Ah, fist raised triumphantly in the air. We head back to finish off that little bit of harvesting. On to the next thing. And from here we move forward at an exponential rate. Possibly not, but it will certainly be at a slightly more accelerated rate because there's more we can get done now. And I can just start putting in orders to the shipping company. More stuff, bigger stuff. Bring it now. I'll, every three days I'll just do more forestry until you can get it here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're still enjoying it. I've still got bells in there. If you have, if you are, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.